Are we giving our children adequate nutrition? Are our children reaching their developmental milestones appropriately? At the North Carolina Research Campus in Kannapolis, scientists with the UNC Nutrition Research Institute are exploring the effects of nutrition on children's brain development. The first two years of a child's life is where the brain is developing rapidly. We need to focus on how the brain responds to nutrition. There's an area of the brain known as the hippocampus that's located on the either side of the head that's responsible for the storage of memories. We have found that nutrients have an effect on the development of this brain area. As physicians, we are very excited to find ways through this nutritional research to educate our parents on how best to feed their children in order to prepare them for school. Many nutrients, such as fatty acids, act in the hippocampus to help information move more freely through the neurons. Fatty acids incorporate themselves into the neurons and allow information to flow more freely so that the memory can be stored. We have a few tools that we use. One of them is um, reading brain activity. When you think, you give off electricity and with electrodes such as this, we can read that activity as it comes to the scalp. So these electrodes are simply little sponges in these pedestals. We soak it in warm water. So all that touches your baby's head is warm little sponges and the soft plastic that's on these pedestals. Once we get the net in place on the baby's head, which takes about five to 10 minutes, the baby sits on mom's lap in front of a computer and watches pictures of objects she's familiar with and objects she's not familiar with. We would then take the brain activity and compare old and new to get a measure of recognition memory. Another way we test memory is through baby's behavior. We have several events that we use to test memory where we just let the baby play with objects like this and then we show her how to put them together. So to build a gong you hang this up and you ring it. And after we show the baby, then we'll just put it away and bring it back out after a delay. For a baby of 10 months to about 14 months, the delay would be about 10 minutes. And then we bring it back out and say, now it's your turn to build a gong. And we get a measure of memory with simple objects like this. And the baby is just playing with the researcher. And experience has shown the baby doesn't want to stop playing with the researcher. At Salisbury Pediatrics, at each well child visit, we will give parents the opportunity to enroll in these nutrition studies. Our hope and goal is that through these studies we will develop a new framework and guidelines to adequately educate every parent at every well child visit on how to care for their child nutritionally.